Hello and welcome to Setting Permissions. In this video, we'll create a role, assign content access, and view what a role can see. Permissions are organized with roles. A role is a group of users that can access the same content and features. Each user can only be assigned to one role at a time. Let's start by creating a new role. The first thing we need to determine is what type of role we need. For this example, we'll select a role type that can review documents and can be invited after the project is launched. Alternately, we can create a role that allows users with that role to upload and manage content or invite another project admin for full access to the project. Optionally, you can click Skip to Roles Management to manually create them. Let's name the role and give it a description. Content access for roles is set by clicking in the segmented bar. Each new segment added grants access to all the levels before it. For instance, a role with download access can also print and view online. For this example, let's choose download access. We'll subtract access for sensitive information later after this role is created. Next, choose a download format wherever the file permissions are set to download. For this example, this role downloads convertible documents to a watermarked PDF. The last step of role setup determines if a role has access to advanced features. For this example, a reviewer doesn't have any additional access, so we'll skip this step. After a final review, let's create the role. Now that a role is created, we can invite users into it or, in this example, refine the permission settings. Because we have sensitive information in the Human Resources folder, let's hide it from the reviewer role for now. When we change permissions on a child folder within a parent folder, the parent folder gets a green highlight to show that not all permissions in that folder are the same. Next, let's filter for a file type and assign view permissions to those documents. In this example, let's select all the documents on screen by ticking the checkbox in the header. Now that all the spreadsheets are view only, let's publish only these files. There are two ways to publish in the Permissions tab. If we use the Publish menu, we could publish all available documents in the file room. For this example, let's only publish the selected spreadsheets. And finally, let's take off the filters and see how the permissions look from the perspective of the reviewer role. Let's click View As to see the Documents tab for the Reviewer role. For us, it should be a general checklist file room with only Folder 13 demo documents visible. Remember, roles can only see permissioned content that is published. Another way to see a role's document access is to view its index list. Notice the Access column has the permissions symbols for that item. To go back to the Permissions tab, let's close out of this view. By default, Status and File Type are visible attributes for filtering. On the right, we can see more options. Two additional columns can be added to our view, and Documents can be filtered for Native File Download and Document Disclaimer. By clicking in the menu for each role, we can duplicate, View Assigned Users, Access View As, or Edit a Role in a Roles Management window. Here, we can duplicate or delete a role, change its name, edit its download options, assign feature access, and invite users. And that's it for this video on Setting Permissions. If you have any questions, contact us. We're always happy to help. Thank you for watching.